Okay, here we got the Mocon, and uh, Nathan's going to tell us a little bit of, about it. Okay. All right, so if you want to come around this way, Sheldon, we can see a little bit of what's what's in this unit here. It's a heater chiller, and uh, so we have the, the process tank here, or the cooling water here, and we have a circuit pump here which circulates this water. If you're going to be cooling below 40 degrees, 40 degrees or below, you want to add glycol to this. And right now it's it's been rinsed out in just water. So that's what we're circulating through it right now. So when you start the unit up, you start on the circuit pump first, or the, what they call the supply pump. And I can go ahead and show you that. <clears throat> you come around. And, and one note too on this unit, which you'll see in the manual, is that this thing has to be hooked up to power 230 volts with the disconnect switch on for 12 hours before starting the system up. Otherwise, you can damage the evaporator and the compressor. So, of course, this unit's been on for over 12 hours, so we'll hit the supply pump and you can hear it run. We have our supply pump light, shows that it's, uh, it's running. I don't know if you can see it a little better now. Yeah. And then once that runs a little while and you, you know you have liquid in your lines, it's not going to cavitate the pump or anything like that, you can start your compressor. I guess we can look at this right here too. It does have uh, refrigeration switches on it. It's got a, a low, uh, a low pressure switch and a high pressure switch. It'll it'll kick this unit off if it gets uh, extremely low, extremely high on the refrigeration. So everything seems to be working right on it. If you come around on the other side, you can see the well, set point. This is the chiller zone. Uh, I mean, 62 degrees right now. We just we just shut it off, so it's it's cooling a little bit right now. So. And then there's the other part. Of this is the process pump, which is right here. And it's the same same method. Start, and you get an indication right here for your process pump. It does an auto air purge on it before it runs. And then if either your high or low pressure switch on your refrigerant, uh, if they activate, you'll get a you'll get the light here showing that they've kicked out in high or low pressure. And if you need it, if you want to run it as a heater and you want to change the temperature, yes, you, you can do that here. Um, I have not tried adjusting the temperature here. I haven't, haven't done that. I've just kept it where it is. Uh, so the room, I think this room set on 65 degrees. Uh, I haven't messed with the controller part of it. But when you shut the unit down, I'll say this, when you shut the unit down, you want to make sure that your temperature, uh, tank temperature, is below 100 degrees. You need to let this cool the, the uh, tank temperature down to 100 degrees before Turning the, uh, I'm sorry, here. I showed you the wrong gate, right here. You want to make sure that's on 100 degrees or less before you turn the unit off, otherwise, you can damage the compressor. So, which it's cooled down about 80 right now, 85. So, we don't need the process pump. So, set that off. We're below 100 degrees, so we can shut the compressor off. And then you don't have to wait for that, you can get your supply pump off. Alrighty, thank you, Nathan. I appreciate that. Next time on the.